right, so this is the fourth part on this. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so we are on episode, well, day three of year one in spring. We are now in Bluebell. So let's. Oh, sorry about that. The controls are still eh, a little crazy right now. So this is Harvest Moon. Tale of Two Towns, and we have a visitor. Dum da da da. Good morning, Panda. How are you? Oh, it's the creepy stalker lady. Who's in a bra? How are you getting used to life here, Panda? I came to ask a favor. Huh? How do I know your name? I know just about everything important, silly. Let me introduce myself. I'm the Harvest Goddess. So, about that favor. Yeah, just <laughs> quickly jump into that. Sure. You know that the mayors of Bluebell and Konohana don't get along, right? Yes. It's not that they have any good reason to dislike each other. I guess you could say it's a tradition. Well, that's a crappy tradition, honestly. The mayors of the two villages have hated each other for generations, but it wasn't always like that. They used to get along so well. Okay, you look guilty, so what did you do? Oh, look, a cutscene. Oh, so I guess we're like in that cave that we can't go to. It's nice to get a visual at least of what it can look like. Hmm. Oh, does that lady have blue hair? Purple hair? That's cool. There used to be a tunnel connecting the two villages. People traveled between the villages all the time. But then the fighting started. Oh no. What did you do? Arr. What did you say? Are you trying to insult my village's cooking? Oh, that's rude. You can take your idiotic opinion right back to Konohana. What? Where did this... I'm not trying to insult Bluebell, I'm just saying our cooking is better. If you can't see that, then you're the one who's an idiot. Oh, crap. Villages full of chefs. Then I can totally understand because there's a lot of chefs that are really serious about their cooking styles. So, yeah. I, I, I kind of can, I can, I can see and I can tell. Um, mayor's... Please calm down. Ooh, they're mad. Shut up! You all just be quiet. Oh shit. Oh shit. What was that? Look, <laughs> looks like we startled the bats. Hey, you two, keep it down. I'm not putting up with all the shouting. I need my beauty sleep, j you know. Oh, if you two hate each other so much, I'll just close this tunnel. S now... <laughs> so it was your fault? Partly? Now you won't have to see each other at all. Hmm. <laughs> oh, crap. So it was your fault. No wonder she looked guilty. Huh. But I totally agree with her. You don't mess with people when they're sleeping. Wh what's happening? Is it an earthquake? Dot dot dot. Your yelling has angered the harvest goddess. Huh? What? You were yelling louder than I was. Ooh. Uh oh. No, things are falling. Things are falling. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. This isn't the time to argue. 
<laughs> this is not the time to be arguing. We have to get out of here before it gets worse. Yes, listen to your people. Or, you know, I like how they leave a bit beforehand and they're like, you know what, y'all can just, just go. Just die. We tried to warn you. <laughs> and there you have it. I was so mad I closed up the tunnel. So it's your fault, in a way. But now I feel kind of bad about it. Yes, you were separated. Brothers. That's rude. Because you got like two here in Bluebell and the other one is over there in Konohana. That's just rude. But it's a lot of work to put it all back like it was. And that's why I want you to do it for me, Panda. You lazy... That's just wrong. But if you just reopen the tunnel, they'll start fighting again. So get them to be friends first, okay? Four times a month they have they hold a cooking festival on top of the mountain. I think that would be the your best bet. Lazy. It's the only time the other, the two villages get together. If you can cook something delicious and help your village win, I'm sure the mayors will see how great both villages are and become friends. I'm counting on you. Toodles! But you- It was your fault! It was your fault! This is just wrong! That's- that's so messed up, man. It was her fault, man. That's just wrong. I entered. Oh my god, the lag. Oh my god. <gasps> Horsey! How are you doing? I'm good. Except for, you know, finding out that I have to do the work because some lazy goddess didn't want to do it herself. After it was her fault. I have something to give you. What? Could it possibly be the horse that I can see that's in front of me? It's about your horse. It was injured at... <gasps> My horsey! It was injured at that fall. On top of that, your carriage broke. Please don't tell me my horse is dead and you had to get me an exact replica because I'd be pissed. Your horse should be okay now. Oh, okay, good. It looks like it made a full recovery. And I was... And I was able to get you a new cart. Use it well. Okay. Hi, What's the name of your horse? I can't do it. Damn it. I wanted to write Sebastian for some reason. Where is it? Uh -huh. There we go. Brooke, you sure? Yep. Yeah, sorry about the, you know, like lag because for whatever reason it decides to be really laggy in this moment and I don't know why. Brooke is a fine name. Do you want me to teach you how to take care of your horse and cart? No. We're done with tutorials. We are done with that crap, man. <laughs> okay, then if you, if you ever have any problems with your cart, you can always ask me. Oh, by the way, let me give you a piece of advice. Huh? Sometimes you'll find yourself with a lot of items to deliver to people. That when the cart really, that's when the cart really comes in handy. Be careful though. If you leave your cart behind, you won't be able to access any of the items left in it. So don't lose my stuff. Got you. Well, that's all. Good luck, Panda. So I, I have a cart. 
I have a horse. Sweet. I gotta get used to the controls. So yeah, as you guys may or may not notice, this is this actually is an emulator. So I have using on as right now I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. And like I was playing Spiral, that's a another um hopefully maybe series I'm gonna do. I'm not going to push it out. <laughs> It's a maybe series that I'm considering doing. So, um, the problem is, is that the controls are kind of different. So I, I kind of adjusted this so it would actually be like the, um, oh right, the horse. So it could be like the 3DS, but I'm not used to it right now because when I first played it, it was just like... Oh crap. So yeah, here's another issue. The horse will go on forever and ever. That's why you gotta get off. So you have to be really careful when you come to like navigating this puppy because yeah. It's gonna be interesting. I'm so sorry for the fact that I left you outside. Don't go outside. You're gonna get wet and you can get sick. And then we're gonna have issues. So yeah, we're gonna go out and forage and do requests and just try to actually, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm gonna maybe, oh, look, more things to do. Yeah, sorry about that. So again, controls will be crazy this time. Lavender. Yep, we'll accept this. Sure. Oh, butter. So yeah, um, here's a nice little tip. <laughs> you could say tip, I guess, that when it comes to your horse, you actually really don't have to do anything to it. Like, you can give it treats if you want, you can do that, like, no one's stopping you, but, um, at the end of the day, it's really not going to do much, like, you don't even have to brush it because it doesn't get dirty much, and, oh, we caught a frog, tree frog. So yeah, that's one thing, and... Yeah, so with the animals, I will be, you know, taking care of them normally, but it'll get to a point where I'm not going to brush them unless they're, like, dirty. Because that's going to be wasting time and stamina. But because this is still, like, the beginning stages of my relationships with my animals. So, where's a bunny? I want you. I want you. What are you? I caught an eastern locust. Oh, I thought it froze. I was gonna get so mad. Hey. Da 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 da. You caught ten different kinds of critters. Congratulations. Now I present you with the title novice critter catcher. Catcher. There's still a lot of different kinds of creature critters left to catch though we'll keep up the good work doodles that's nice <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get this this game is actually like in a way it's it's kind of confusing in a sense that if you want to normally leave out your animals because usually in Harvest Moon you just leave them out so that way, you know, they can grow to like you more and they can like eat the food that's out there so you don't have to buy them fodder like how in this Harvest Moon said but the problem is that this honestly, this weather in this Harvest Moon specifically changes like one, like in the morning it can be sunny 
or rainy and then the next and then in the afternoon it can be the opposite or it can be like that all day and you will never know so the monkey why won't you love me food so yeah it's kind of eh, it's kind of crappy frog a white a white lip frog I keep jumping. <laughs> Alright, and we got mushroom. I'm not even humming an actual song, I'm just. I make up tunes in my heads. And I would like sing like theme songs to like old cartoons that I used to watch, but I have a feeling. Copyright will not be my friend in this, so yeah, not fun. It's Tuesday, and I don't think today we can get seeds. I can check, but wait, I don't even think we have the tools to make to do the seeds. I'll, uh, I'll like, I'll see if there is. I'm gonna try to stock up on fertilizer to like better the ingredients qualities and stuff but um a tip that i actually checked online says that when it comes to playing this game though the harvest goddess tells you oh yeah if you can you know win the festival so that way they'll like each other more and all this stuff you can do that because i have a feeling that um when you i guess when you reach a certain point with the the effect the friendship or affection of the mares that you're able to somehow start to like open the tunnels but you don't really have to do it all that way because like if um because i don't i don't have it written down but what the guy or girl i don't know what the person was saying oh we caught something cool so what the person was saying is that if you just like to do upgrades on your farm and stuff but the construction girl Aline she's the one who does it but she also does the tunnels so spoils but she's the one who um, does the tunnels and everything so if you want to upgrade your house you can either upgrade your house or have her work on the tunnels depending on your friendship or the mayor's friendship levels I guess that's when that can happen. So if you want to be able to upgrade your farm, which from what I read is a lot of upgrades, <laughs> so we'll be busy. But either way, you can still like get seeds that you can't normally get if you lose and stuff like that. So losing might not all be that bad. I most likely will try to do that. Like, because it's not like a 100% guarantee that you're gonna win. I guess all the time. So, fish. I call a fauna. A small fauna. Yay. Da, 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 da. You got 10 kinds of fish. Congratulations. I now present you with the title of novice fisherman. You've still got a long way to learn about fishing though. Well, keep up the good work. Bye bye. So yeah, and if you guys notice, I've been collecting like the rubber balls and stuff. Um, it's cut. Oh, fish bones. I caught a tree frog. I caught a tree frog. Do, do, do. So yeah, keep that. So if you um, I, there's I think you need it for something. There's certain things that you have to like keep like hoarding for a bit because you might need them for like a request so, see what I meant okay all right I'm gonna go like this Ok, 
Dear God. This is so unnecessarily complicated, I swear. It's frustrating me. Alright. Yep, take me out of there. That's so unnecessarily frustrating, I swear. <sighs> but playing, so I honestly recommend if you're gonna play this, play this on the 3DS. <laughs> because it is so much simpler. Honestly. And I actually enjoyed the three, um, the, t the normal DS version. Because though you can like pet the animals and stuff in this 3D version, which I'm sorry, you guys aren't gonna see me do it unless you guys request it. Because it freaked me out the first time I saw it. I, I swear, it freaked me out. I was like, what is that? I don't know if it stayed in the recording, but it freaked me out so much. And I'm not, no, no, just no. It freaked me out. Like, because you see the cow's head is just like huge. And it's like right there in your face. And he's like, love me. Give me affection. Love me. But it's like you are timed, I guess, of how many times you have to do it. And the amount of uh, things, it's just, oh my god, it was so weird. It freaked me out, seriously. Oh, I guess no one's working when it rains. Whistle why you work. Do, 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 do. Seeds? Seeds? Did I meet you guys? Oh, okay, apparently I met them. I don't know, I did not remember if I met them or not. <laughs> It's low key, it's been a little while since I've actually played this. Uh, one. Alright, so since I have apparently no business being here. Wait, did I meet that girl? Because I don't know if I met that girl that was here. Is she? Oh, her. Her, did I meet you? He's really cool. I think he looks cool. Seems like a warrior of some kind. Though he plants a lot of fruit trees, which is really sweet and cool in my desk. So yeah, I think you guys have met all of the bachelors. So yeah, this is one of them. The other one is the doctor. Yeah, I'll show you guys right now. The other one is the doctor, and then... There's still two more bachelors. This is the other one hero and so there's two more in bluebell that you guys have seen but there's two more bachelors you guys haven't seen that will probably be coming in later on so yeah. hello i'm trying to get his friendship up since he does tools because I've been feeling all my upgrades. All my upgrades are probably going to come for him when it comes to tools. So it's like... <sighs> I gotta befriend the people. And I need to find a long-headed Lucas. The best part about this is that I don't really have to stop moving. Like, I guess I could just go like this to get out. But I really don't have to stop moving when it comes to, like, the cart and stuff. Uh, there we go. Ha -ha. ha ha. Now I don't have to worry. I think I fulfilled all of the things. I think. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Eh, we'll just see. <laughs> so yeah. The best part about this, I literally, I'm, I'm not even holding it or anything. So the horse is just moving in its own. It's a, it's a, it's a glitch, but it's a cool glitch that saves you from like if you need to do something real quick. And you just pointing it into the direction you need it to go. So, so it's not terrible, <laughs> honestly. But it can be a headache. So let me go to this. Oh, what am I doing? What is what is this? What do you want? Ah, oh, perfect timing. Are you sure? Should I be afraid? I've got some useful information to tell you about the horse and carts. Maybe you already know this information, though. You still want me to explain? No. It's okay. I, I'll figure it out. I'll just figure it out on my own. It's no problem. 
Lady, lady. What's up? Talk about request. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, it's okay. You don't have to tell me about how to catch certain things. Thank you, though. Okay, yeah, it's white. You can rent a horse here. Just make sure that you talk you take care of them. Why would I rent a horse when I already own one? I don't understand. Wow, you did it! You caught yourself a critter. Let's take a look. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All yours. That's it! Alright. You caught the right one. Yep. <laughs> it looks like you're a natural. Remember though, some flying critters can be quite difficult to catch. Anyways, you fulfilled my request, so you get your reward. We got butter. I'm happy. I'm saving that. It'll probably get bad by the time we're able to use it really, really good. But I'm saving it. So, we have to go to the munchkin over here. Hi. Talk about requests. Sure. Oh, you caught my request. Yay! Just like, just like I promised, I've got something to teach you. How to make friends with villagers. You want to know, right? No. Um, really? I guess that's fine. Well, why don't you practice on me, if you already know. Bring me what's in my request, so we'll be better friends. Hehe. <laughs> I can't wait. My brother is the best farmer in the whole world. No one's better than him. Talk about request. Oh, you brought it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're great. No wonder you're such a good farmer. Thank you. You did great. Since you did such a nice job, I'm going to tell you something useful. Do you know that you can give gifts to people? To give to give someone a gift, talk to them while holding what you want to give them. If you pre if it ugh, if the present is something they like, they'll be so happy. You'll become closer friends and they'll like you more. But if you give them something they'll hate, they'll like you less. Hmm? Worried? Worried you'll give them something they hate? Hehe, <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't give them gifts to even if you don't give gifts to people, you can just talk to them to become better friends. If you talk to them every day, you'll learn things they like and dislike. Since you did a great job, I'll give you a reward. Just select your reward and move it to your back. <gasps> no. <laughs> I need this. There we go. I know you're going to be great friends with everyone, so don't worry. Hey, how's work? So yeah, this other bachelor. Oh, cool. Ha ha ha. Oh, hello. Um, I literally didn't read the second line. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Since you're new in town, I have an idea. I should give you some advice about the mountains. I don't go up there as often as I used to, but when I was younger, there was a lot. Do you want some advice on how to make your mount how to make your trip up the mountain? No. Walk around and search the mountain on your own. If you look closely, you can find pretty flowers blooming. In surprising places. I hope you can find the items in my request for me. Good luck. My dad is the best cook. Yes. Oh, you were able to find what I was looking for. Let me check it out. Oh no. Perfect. Yep. Yes, this is it. Nice work. 
so yeah also a good tip to know also if you depending on your star rank sometimes it can affect the reward you get so like if your reward is some kind of food or some kind of thing that has a star rating depending on what star quality you give to that person um the requested item can sometimes vary what the star quit um the star rating you'll get back just tip Besides these herbs, I bet you find a lot of other things, right? Bamboo shoots sprouting during this season, along with mushrooms and chestnuts. There's so many cooking ingredients out there, so try to find them all. Gotta catch them all. Here's a reward for fulfilling my request. Since your reward is from the reward screen, yeah, okay. See that lavender? I gathered it in the winter. Doesn't it smell nice? And you can use it for cooking too. You can use lavender and the herbs are requested in cooking. They make a very nice herb salad. Try making it. I know it works. I know um eh. <sighs> I know working on the farm is hard work. So do your best. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. <gasps> there he is. Hey, I'm Kim. I run the flower shop around here. Nice to meet you. Oh, right. I didn't realize that we didn't meet him. So, yeah. Cool fact. This guy and the other girl that's, I guess, I don't know if she's a herbologist or something with the herbs and things. And Oh, no. Battery is running low. Crap. Yep, I gotta go.